What's our total time? Four minutes. Okay. Leonardo, we have a full four minutes. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> clock is ticking. Mm -hmm. hey, it's good to see you again. Good to see you too. I mean, you are the busiest one actor. I, I don't know, I worry about you. Maybe we should have a telethon for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're just all the time working, aren't you? Well, yeah, I suppose I am. Um, there's just been a lot of opportunities for me lately that I could, could not say no to, you know? Absolutely. Romeo and Juliet doing very, very well. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised that first week when it came out number one? Extremely. Uh, uh, you know, it was a situation where I think nobody could have, uh, you know, foreseen what would happen to it. But uh, I think, I mean, the, the main audience has been sort of young people, you know, people my age, and they really just needed an excuse to go see Shakespeare, you know. I think, you know, there, there's always sort of been this rebellious attitude toward Shakespeare, and, and once something like that came out that it really appealed to them, you know, they, they wanted to go see it, which I'm very happy about. And now you have Marvin's Room, wonderful picture, just wonderful. And your performance is so good. Oh, everybody in it, everybody is everybody, so well cast. Yeah. Now, had you worked with any of these people before? I worked with um, Mr. De Niro before in of my course. first film, yes. This Boy's Life, and um, that was, you know, sort of the marking of everything else that went on for the rest of my career working with him I've always sort of looked up to him and he told me about this project and told me the people that were involved and uh, you know once I read the script it was so the whole family drama comedy thing was just so realistic that and my character was so great that I you know said yep your mother was a single mother right mm -hmm. so could you draw on that in this role in this performance? Well, I do have to say that the character of Lee and my mother, my own mother, are two completely different situations. I think Lee was just, you know, not capable of bringing up children. And uh, then she's put into a situation where she uh, not only has to do that, but take care of, you know, her father and her, you know, her sister, who, who she hasn't talked to in years anyway. So as far as my own mother and that character are concerned, it's two completely different scenarios, you know, one great and one not so great. How'd you get along with Meryl Streep? Well, Meryl is just such a presence, you know. As soon as she walks on set, it's just this sort of glow that she has. I mean, on camera, too, she's, you know, a spectacular actress. I've, you know, I'd find myself sort of just watching her at times and just being like, oh, and then reminding myself that I had a line, you know. <laughs> um, She's just the greatest. It's just unlike any other person I've ever worked with. She is entirely different. She's 180 from the role she plays, too. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, she's a very warm and fun person, yes. Did you do for Meryl Streep and the rest of the cast your Michael Jackson impressions? <laughs> <laughs> well, with me, I've always liked to sort of keep things you know, light on set, especially when you're doing something of high dramatic content. Sometimes, uh, you know, I, I I just have to do it for me, you know. Do you uh, talk like him or what do you do? I just do a little dance because I think it's ridiculous. That's why. <laughs> I, I don't want to make the, the moonwalk. I don't want to make the imp impression that, you know, I'm like an obsessed fan by any means. I just think, you know, the way he moves is funny, so, and I'm good at imitating him, so it's that sort of situation. But you uh, apparently are very good at it yeah, from I'm what I do. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> Manage to keep everything's very, everything very loose on the set. Absolutely. I yes. have to. Uh, you're doing now Titanic? Yes. And when will you be finished with that? I'll be done in February, I believe. Okay. Is this Titanic the ocean liner? Yep. It's the, it's the story of the Titanic. It's this. Uh, it's a film by James Cameron. First time I've sort of done anything like that, a gigantic gigantic film and uh, it's much different than I, than I expected it would be. It's a lot of work, boy. A lot of work. Watch out if he asks you to go underwater. Well, I am. I'm, I'm, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> with or without? It's already been done. <laughs> with or without a mask? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, okay. I can't wait to see it. Leonardo, good to talk with you again good to talk and with you. congratulations. Marvin's Room. Just wonderful. It gets my highest recommendation. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> now, you talk